Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and the first question is when the identity of an amino acid cannot be distinguished between asparagine and aspartate, the three letter abbreviation for the ambiguous residue is and you have to choose one of these answers. Actually the second question is also similar to the first one. So today I'm going to explain you how to memorize three letter abbreviations of amino acids. It is very easy, it is much easier than one letter abbreviations because there are only few amino acids that has three letter abbreviation which is different from the first three letters of the name of the amino acids. Let's find which one. All the amino acids in this table are represented in alphabetic order. So we start with A. Alanine is three letter abbreviation ALA. Arginine a R G asparagine A S N and you see that this three letter abbreviation is different from these three letters of the name of this amino acid. Why? Because aspartic acid also has first three letters which is going to be A S P and A S P here. So how to memorize that asparagine three letter abbreviation is A S N and not A S P. This is not a scientific method, just a mnemonic technique. So take a look. Aspartic acid consists of two words, aspartic and acid. And asparagine consists of one word. So aspartic acid wins three letter abbreviation. So ASP. And asparagine would have three letter abbreviation, which is going to be different AS and N. So this is going to be the first such amino acid whose related abbreviation is different. So now let's move and next is going to be asparagine or aspartic acid. When we are not sure because these two amino acids would be very similar. Cyrillate abbreviation is going to be first two letters of both names of the amino acids and the last one is going to be X. So X stands for the unknown. So this is going to be second three-letter abbreviation which we have to memorize. Next goes cysteine and three-letter abbreviation is just first three letters of this amino acid but glutamic acid and glutamine next. First three letters are the same. Again glutamic acid consists of two words. Two words beat one word amino acid. First three letters in glutamic acids are going to be GLU and in glutamine GLN. How to memorize? Glutamine is going to be amide of the glutamic acid. So first two letters plus N. And by the way, this is the same logic which we used previously. Aspartic acid and asparagin, which is going to be amide of the aspartic acid and has also N at the end and first two letters come from the name of amino acid. And glutamine is amide of the glutamic acid. So we take first two letters of the amino acid plus N. And glutamic acid would have first three letters of the name of the amino acid. Next we may have a situation where we are not sure whether we have glutamine or glutamic acid. In this case three letter abbreviation is going to be first two letters of both amino acid plus X unknown. We don't know and the logic is the same as we just saw in example with asparagine and aspartic acid. So, so far we have found four such amino acid whose three letter abbreviation is going to be different from what we might expect. Let's check the rest of the table. Glycine only one amino acid that start with G. So there is no any conflict with other amino acid, so just GLY. And histidine is the same story, but isoleucine instead of ISO, so related abbreviation is going to be I, L, and E. Why? Because isoleucine consists of two words. Isa means isomer, isomer of leucine. So here is a leucine amino acid and this is going to be isomer with the same chemical formula. So first letter comes from the first 
word and le comes from the second word either and lucin i and le so this is going to be another variant where three letter abbreviation is different from what we can expect next goes lucin and lysine mesionine and phenylalanine proline serine zirenine but now take a look tryptophan first relatives is t r y but here we have t r p why because this name of this amino acid also basically consists of two words trypto and fan so first two letters come from the first part of the word and p comes from the second part of the word which is fan so t r p and not t r y and this is the last three letter abbreviation which we have to memorize so let's count how many we have one two three four five six which have to memorize let's review again asparagine and aspartic acid we have only two amino acids which are going to be acidic this is aspartic acid and glutamic acid and they win first three letters over the amides so would have glu here and aspartic acid asp here and the amides which is going to be glutamine and asparagine first two letters come from the first letters of the name of the amino acid plus n and the same is true here and when we are not sure which amino acid whether acidic amino acid or it's amide we just use first two letters plus x and the same is true is here acidic amino acid or it's amide when we are not sure we just use two first letters plus x and the last two which we have to memorize this is amino acids those represented by one word but actually they are consist of two words either stand for the isomer of the leucine hence the name is i l e and not i s o and tryptophan trypta and fan so t r comes from the first word and p from the second so when you memorize this six variants you don't have to memorize the rest the rest is just going to be first three letters of the name of the amino acid now let's read our first question again when the identity of amino acid cannot be distinguished between asparagine and aspartate the three letter abbreviation for the ambiguous residue is first two letters of the asparagine or aspartate plus x now you know that the correct answer is going to be a and the second question three letter abbreviation for tryptophan you remember that tryptophan consists of two words trypto and fan first two letters come from the first word and p comes from the second word the correct answer is going to be t r p answer c and this is all for today subscribe and see you in the next video goodbye